Hello, I am Mike of Nearly Enough Dice, and this is the Kerbal Space Program. Uh, right, what's going on? Not a whole heap. Um, I have a thousand of its science to spend, but I don't... Uh, I'm not going to do that right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start fast-forwarding. Because I've got the Duna Orbiter about to do a oh oh we're not doing it oh no 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 right uh what do we do let's actually go to the ship because I was about to do more fast forwarding and that means that the day night cycle is going to and uh, no that would have been a bit grim so let's actually go to our Duna Orbiter and here we are. And I've got, what's the next, the next thing that's going to happen with the Duna Orbiter is an SOI change. So it's going to be um, going. This is going. It, oh, good lord! No, we can see. We can actually see. Mars and I believe Ike in the background there. So let's just. I'm just going to take a quick screenshot of that because I think that looks cool. Let me bring back. Oh, that's, that's another screenshot. <laughs> okay, so we're going to be going. Entering the SOI of Duna in just a little bit. In about 40 seconds. I've also got a manoeuvre. Uh, uh, oh god, I've got almost no electric charge. Where's the sun? Ah, we're pointing... Eek, what have I done? Oh, there we go, good. I was going to point at... Um, uh, the manoeuvre node, but um, that will turn out to be a bad idea, because... I'll turn off SAS as well. Um, that, I assume, was us... Um, Uh, hitting the SOI chain. Um, uh, oh no, I'm not going to transmit. I shouldn't transmit. I've got haven't got the energy to transmit. Arg! What am I doing? So I'm going to grab the temperature scan. I'm going to keep it. And I wish I could tell it to not transmit data. That's very irritating. Stop transmitting. I can do that. Good. Okay. Uh, so does the gravity thing... Right, so we'll keep that data. I'm going to zoom ahead a bit. I've got a day until the manoeuvre. I'm just going to fast forward a little bit to see if I can't get the electricity full. I am so pleased with myself I, that I remembered to turn that off. Um, what did I just get? Alright, so I got, I got Fly by Duna. So I got 266 grand from that and 37 grand for trying to... I didn't actually send the data. In the end, but right. So let's let's unzoom. And now we will transmit our data. Didn't quite have enough to do that. Um, I 
could have done with sending one and then the other. Um, but it looks like it's going to make it in the end. Basically, you'll build up a little bit of charge and then... Uh, right, I think it will stop. Right, so I wouldn't get anything more from... Um, a little bit more from uh, gravity. Fast forward again. Right, so that's got me a couple of contracts, which is nice. transmit whatever data it's got left. It should be able to get, um, oh, maybe not, good lord. Till it gets all of that done. So it actually uh, finds it difficult to transmit. Um, wow, that's quite impressive. So it actually finds it quite difficult to, to transmit um, a full gravity um, scan. That's interesting. So I have the potential, however, to, to get a fair amount of science data back. Um, what is, where am I? Yeah, 3068. So let's go. Uh, Looks like I've turned off uh, stop warp on discovery for most of them. So I'm going to put onto globally on because uh, obviously as I'm going around different biomes on Mars, there is a possibility of more science. Now the next thing I'm heading towards is the Dune Orbiter's uh, maneuver node, uh, the maneuver, which is the next thing to happen. So that's going to be another 40 science. So that's going to be another 40 science that's going to be difficult for it to uh, transmit because it doesn't actually have enough energy to do a full transmission. But every time I do that, it's 30 science, so, or 40 science. I don't, well, I don't, I'm just wondering whether it's worth it. Um, I might be better off now I think about it. Um, not bothering with, with doing it. Um, so I'm just going to go here. Uh, uh, put that back to by experiment. Uh, because actually I've got my Junior Explorer coming along in not too long and um, that one is going to be able to pick up all of these things but also keep them um, and hopefully I'm going to be able to bring all that, that data back uh, and so I'll 
can get all that science. I'll get the same science later on uh, with the Explorer. Even though the, the Explorer is like 13 days away, which is rather interesting. All right, but we're about to hit the maneuver. So we'll aim at the maneuver nodes. We'll pull this yes, back on again. Uh, okay, so I'm not coming in quite as predicted. Oh no, wait, that no, that's no, that's that's the orbit I'm I'm aiming I'm aiming to get to that orb. Yes, I'm aiming for that orb. I thought for a moment I was going the wrong way. Um, don't need that up. I do need that up. All right, going to be ah oh, three minutes of burn. That's going to be terribly exciting. Okay, so we're just counting down uh, 15. Time will tiniest bit. Okay, six, five, four, three, two, one. Burn. All right, that's going to take three minutes. Um, So I'm going to see you back in um, three minutes time. All right, it's not quite three minutes later, but it's quite close. Uh, you can see that the orbit is beginning to wrap round. Look at that. Uh, uh, oh, there's quite a lot off my maneuver there because I was looking at the wrong thing. So just... Uh, ease our way in, those last few meters a second, oh and I got that, ah oh, sweet, achieve orbit round unit complete, position satellite in uh, equatorial orbit of Duna, you have successfully deployed our satellite into equatorial orbit around Duna, sweetie sweet. Now, here's a question for you. Uh, let's get rid of that. We don't need that maneuver anymore. I want to know if I can get myself into uh, an encounter with Ike. Uh, oh, no, it would help. Ooh! The answer would quite clearly be yes. Okay, we are doing that. We are do whatever that maneuver is. That's what we're doing. How are we doing for electric being fine? One hour, and I've got. Because if I can get an account with Ike, that's another set of contracts that I, I can set up. Because I've got to explore Ike contracts. Uh, so we're going to set as target. Uh, I'll be going the wrong way around Ike, I don't care. Let's bring up precise node. Uh, I'm not sure I really care about... Well, I mean, ideally, and this is this is this is a thing that is it is really unlikely to to be able to I'll be able to do. But I would quite like to um, I would quite like to be able to land. As as absurd as it sounds, I would quite like to be able to land on Ike. Um, now this is obviously this is obviously not a lander. But um I'm I'm wondering if whether or not Ike would be able to uh let's not do that actually. Whether or not Ike would be able to um 
what Ike, whether whether this little lander will be able to land on Ike. It's going to depend a lot on the, the Delta V and stuff like that. So we're going to add a new thing for our maneuver node. That's in an hour. But anyway, if I get um, if I can get even just a flyby on Ike, what I really want is a flyby on Ike science from around Ike. So when I hit the SOI change, I want I do want to transmit science, and I'll I'm tra I'll transmit uh, temperature because that's going to be relatively easy. And then if I can land on Ike, and I don't, I don't need to. I, all I need, literally, is uh, the core, a temperature gauge, and an antenna, and that's really all I need. So suddenly, I was saying, "Oh, that's a contract I got. I got the orbit contract, but I haven't got the Explore Juno contract, which I eventually do. I want to get." Um, Because I, uh, to get that, I need to transmit science um, yeah there's there's a list of things you need to do, uh, which I now I should possibly check, um, but I'll do that once uh, let's do this maneuver, then I'll have a look at my contracts. does want me to get an orbit around um, around Ike, not just smash into it. There we go. That'll do. Uh, that maneuver. If I can't circularize how much delta V is like, oh, that's not too bad actually. I wonder if that's. Am I going to be crashing in? Doesn't look like it. Looks like that'll do. All right, all right, all right, all right. So now I've got a bit of time to, to think. Uh, oh, I'll put in an alarm in for the SOI change. Uh, zero in like five seconds. But I will also put an alarm for the maneuver. Uh, so I'll get Ast... Yeah, asteroid captures are going to be in three hours. Um, I can't remember if I mentioned it. I don't think I've mentioned this. Um... I've um, set up a maneuver for my asteroid capture, which gets me a very, very close encounter. Um, of course, that's with lots of little fiddly adjustments of my um, on precise node. So I very much doubt I'm going to get anything quite that accurate. But um, I I believe that um, I'll be able to do a, a, a course correction as I get closer. Okay, contracts. Let's bring up some contracts. Uh, brief pause while uh, I don't know why this happens whenever I go into the contract screen. There we go. There's that one. Fly by Duna. I've achieved that goal. Uh, Whiskey Frankie. Uh, that's people Minmus. All 
All right, position satellite and actorial. Uh, so that is two contracts I have. I have succeeded at. So that's quite sweet. Um, okay, explore Duna. Achieve orbit around Duna. Don't we? Where's he gone? Uh, land on Duna. Transmit or recover scientific data from the surface of Duna. I'm planning to do that with uh, the Explorer. So this is what I'm trying, going to try and do with Ike. Um, achieve orbit around Ike. Transmit or recover science from space around Ike. I just don't know whether I'm going to be able to land it. Um, I'm going to have about 500 meters a second left, slightly under that. Uh, which you can, which you can do a moon landing on that. But I don't know whether you can do one on Ike. I don't know. And and again, I don't really need to land land. I just need to crash sufficiently softly that I've got um, a probe core left. Okay, I'm actually going to leave it there. Um, and I'm going to do the asteroid stuff later on. Um, so that's me got a couple of contracts done. Uh, 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 that's what, da, 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 get rid of that. So we are going to go back to the space center. Oh, anyway, I'm going to say uh, thanks very much for watching. Um, please hit like and subscribe if you're enjoying these videos. Come visit Nearly Enough Dice at nearlyenoughdice.com. Uh, you can also find us on Facebook and Twitter. And until next time, reach for those stars.